we're doing upper body and core. We are gonna be here for an entire hour. That's what's happening. We're gonna be here for an hour. So my name is Sabrina. I do live workouts every single day, Monday through Friday, right here on TikTok. I stream on Instagram. Oh no, I do not stream on Instagram anymore, my bad. We're streaming on YouTube as well, so go check me out there. Pause what you're doing and go follow me on YouTube. Show your girl some love. The, the link is in my YouTube like drop down bio thing. Um, but anyways, I'm here five days a week, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. I am sick this week, so I'm like being a little baby and complaining a lot. I'm just not feeling good, but we're still showing up. I don't have a sore throat, so as long as I don't have a sore throat, I'm good to go. But I also started my period, <laughs> so I'm really not feeling good. I know that's TMI, but I'm just keeping it real. <laughs> but anyways, let's get started today. We're gonna start off with upper body exercises for the first 30 minutes and then the last 30 minutes we're going to do core okay so these workouts are effective right we're doing them from home i will show you modifications for everything you're going to need a heavy set of dumbbells a lighter set of dumbbells you're also going to need like a medicine ball or a kettlebell but if you don't have those we can modify do not worry don't let that discourage you from doing the workout okay i'm going to start my timer and we are going to do some upper body stretches and we'll get going okay so Thank you for being here. Ah, you find your long band. Go grab your long band if you have one. If you don't have a long band, grab a belt, a broom, whatever. We'll make it work. We're gonna come to the back, ooh, and to the front, okay? Let me adjust this camera real quick. All right, so we're taking that long band and we're bringing it to the front and to the back. To the front and to the back. Then we're gonna go to the right and to the left and then we're gonna do some mobility stretches for our upper back. Are we cool with that? Some cat cow. Some, oh my God, this feels really good. Can we just do this the whole hour? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, I wanna just stretch, but we're gonna work out. Okay, so let's go do some stretches. You're gonna get on your mat, tabletop position, and we're gonna do cat cow. Push those hips out, and then we're gonna go opposite, round that belly and draw that back out. If you want to get deeper in the stretch and really feel it in your lower back, go sit on the back of your hips. Let's do this one more time. Then we're going to sit on our mat. We're going to interlace our hands. And these are stretches we're going to do at the end too. Interlace your hands to the back and push your chest out. Like, boom, right? Really pop your chest out. You're stretching your shoulders, your back. It should feel really good. Bring those arms up, high into the sky. Come back as far as you can. We're going to bring it down into a child's pose. Interlace those hands. Come down. Oh, that feels so good. Can we do that every workout? Just a couple little stretches. Is that cool? Can you guys hear me okay? Hopefully you can. Whose bird is bigger? What are you talking about? You can hear me. Okay, thank you. Let's go. We're gonna start off with shoulder press, four sets of 10. We're hitting 90 degrees. Here, reset. Come up. Oh, 
that's okay. You're still doing it. Oh. Cheers. Round two. Upright rows. Remember, we're coming down nice and slow with that weight, okay? We're not letting it just drop. right away so you know how like don't lie I know you guys get irritated when I was always so late reposting the playbacks on IG you don't have to worry about that now on YouTube it posts it immediately as soon as I'm done it takes about like 10 minutes or so to like it's an hour long workout so it takes a second to like do its thing and upload but it's immediate so you don't have to worry about it showing up later okay is that cool yeah I post it immediately yay um I thought I was but trying to work with, we're, we're just trying to get to Friday so I can just chill for two days. Hopefully by Monday I'll be okay. I went and got Mucinex and I got my Bapo girl. You already know. I was talking to them earlier. The Mexican mom starter pack. I'm going to do a little TikTok. Mexican mom starter pack. You already know. Galdo is one and then also Bapo, chest, nose, back <laughs> with your feet and socks. Yes. So I got to go do that. I just bought mine because uh, I couldn't find my other one. I don't, I don't know where it went. But anyways. We stay doing Bapo, you already know. Right, bro? If you're Mexican, you already know. Are you talking to foreign language? Oh my god. No, we're talking about Mexican moms, like, um, what is it called in English? I don't even know what it's called in English. Vapo rub, yeah? Vapo rub, or whatever, I don't know. We call it Bapo, but it's like the VIX, whatever. I don't know what it's called. It's Bapo, yeah, there you go. That stuff. Mexican moms, like when your kids get sick, you put it, they put, they like douse you in it, like your neck. They give you like a whole massage and like your neck, your back, your stomach, you're like everywhere, your legs, you're like your feet. They put socks on and like you go to bed like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try it when you're sick. I think it works. All right, we got one more round. Let's go. Tracy said, are you speaking a foreign language?
We're standing nice and tall, chest up, shoulders back. Your core is on, we pull mid chest and release nice and slow on the way down, yeah? That's your form check. I'll always show you the form check. That's why I feel like these workouts take longer, is because I walk you through, but that's so important to me. Just in case there's one new person on here, I want you to feel like you're covered, like you're not lost. I'm guiding you. Empowering you, yeah? That's for sure 10. We're so done. Breathe, let's take a break. What do you guys think about the stuff on the ground that we've been doing? The chest press? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, the whole body. You already know. As soon as my son gets sick, my mom's like, did you get the vapo? Did you put vapo on him? I'm like, yes, mom. She's like, Curry, get the vapo. Um, it's so funny. <laughs> but um, did you guys like the stuff on the ground, the chest press and the flies? I, I enjoyed it. So if you guys don't mind, let's go do that again. I like them. They have my shoulders so sorry. Let's, let's keep it up. Yeah. It's, we want to like work on all parts of our body, right? Our upper body. So, um, let's do it. It's also getting, making our chest stronger as well, right? Um, so let's do it. We're going to get on on the ground. You're going to be on your back. Make sure that there's no space in between your back and your shoulders or your back and the mat. Um, I don't know if this is clean. Let me clean this. <laughs> sorry. Okay. So let me put this down so you guys can see the floor. Okay. So have, if you want to have a heavy set of dumbbells and a lighter set of dumbbells, we're going to do a chest press. So similar to the shoulder press, except we're on our back, our weights stay mid-chest. So your nipple line is that spot where you're going to be pushing up. That's where you want the weights to be. Not up here, not down here, here. And we push. We come back down 90 degrees and we push. Utilizing your chest your shoulders, your back, all that stuff, right? Then we're gonna go do flies. We're gonna come out, and then we're gonna, excuse me, you're so cute. You're, you're welcome, or you're excused, honey. And then we come back together. Out, and then back together. You're so cute using your manners. You said, excuse me. I love you so much. Okay, I love you. Let's do it. So we're gonna start off with four sets of 10. Well, no, we'll go, we'll do chest press, then we'll go do flies, okay? Four sets of 10. Let's go.
big chest. Hold for one. Two extra, I don't know why. We're done. Man, that was good. 
That was really, really good. How do you guys feel, okay? Do you feel good? I have to like reset the light because it's like washes me out. Yes, every time I feel a lot better once I get started. Yay, good stuff. Okay, good morning, Tracy. Good morning, Veronica. So happy that you guys are here. Yes, amazing, your pumps. I know. <laughs> I have been feeling it in my shoulders, man. Those chest presses and those flies. So um, we're doing good. Okay, so we're gonna go do tricep extensions and we're gonna do Let's go do the front raise to the lateral raise, okay? Let's do those. Hoping my green smoothies pull through for me and make me feel better. <laughs> okay, so, so for the tricep extensions, you're gonna stand up nice and tall on your mat, right? You're gonna bring that dumbbell up above your head you're gonna make sure your core is on and make sure that your hips don't come forward. You wanna be standing nice and tall, neutral back, neutral spine. We come down just below 90 degrees and then we reset. Your elbows and your biceps are glued close to your head. I don't wanna see your arms out like this. Are we cool? Oh Lord. Let's do it. And then we're gonna do a front raise to a lateral raise as well. I'm gonna go down to my tens. Shoulders back, chest up. Front raise with the right arm. Lateral raise with the left. It's uh, pretty challenging. You might need lighter weights if you're just starting out. You might need like fives because it's pretty rough. But um, do your best. <clears throat> My voice is like so hoarse. Let's go. muscle groups in those areas and that is what we're doing okay so you'll notice that if you've never done this exercise before you're gonna be really sore in those areas okay but you have to make sure your form is right you have to make sure that um, you're not like slouched and like pulling or anything like that you're just coming up nice and tall and then you're going down slowly releasing nice and slow your core is on let's go I'm gonna start off with the right side Let's do it. And your core is helping you more than you know, so really engage that core. So it's three, three, four, four, five, five. Six. 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 Seven. 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 Eight. 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 Nine. 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 Ten. 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 Drop. We're going to go into our second set. So we'll go do tricep extensions and then we'll do the other side, okay? Yeah, work all your back. Okay, cool. Can I have my clip back? I'll just get it snapped. I just snapped it. Down to you. Tricep extensions. Let's go.
<laughs> James takes for the follows, you guys. All right, let's go. Oh, I feel so bloated. I need like a hoodie to tie around my waist because I feel so bleh. Okay. Oh, no, that's not a toy, honey. Mama's clip is not a toy. Excuse me? What was that? Yeah, yeah what was that? Yeah. Do you want to try again? Sorry. Yeah. You don't, you don't talk that way, Mama. You hear me? Just did the triceps. We just did the triceps? 
We have one more. Yeah, okay, one more set. Ready? Let's go. James! No, sir. Okay, I have to go wipe the booty. <laughs> one, give me one second after this.
stretching those a little bit. But we're moving on. We're gonna go do halos. Two sets, one to the left and one to the right, okay? <laughs> we're just like a sick mess in this house. It's a mess, y'all. All right, so for halos, you're gonna stack it at your shoulders. You're gonna go all the way around, full shoulder rotation, right back to your collarbone. Let's go for 10. We're not hula hooping, keep those hips square, grounded. They're not moving. raw nitty gritty like it's not professional over here we just like it's a mom trying to get a workout in sometimes it's great sometimes it's not a lot of times you have distractions but I want to show you and teach you that like you can work through those distractions right like sometimes you just have to go with the flow and like not get so upset about it right he's bouncing his ball whatever I'm still getting my workout in so it might look unprofessional but it's real it's raw and it's real it's, it's just a mom struggling trying to get a workout in and we just make it work, right? So this is me just telling you, if you think you can't do it, you can. It just takes time. And sometimes you have to set boundaries with your kiddos um, because sometimes it's a bit yeah, too much. That's why it's why a big ball. Ah, I took him to the trampoline park yesterday, but he was like crying when we left because he did not want to leave. It always works out that way. He's like, uh, like I'm like, we're gonna leave when the timer ends. And then he's like, okay, mommy. And then I'm like, the timer's done. He's kicking and screaming because he doesn't want to leave. Is that the same for everybody else? Because it's always like that. Uh, moms unite, yay! All right, thank you so much. What is your name, BN McKee 06? Thank you so much for being here. Do you have one of those little trampolines, the little round ones? I need to get one for him, but you know what? He's like a little crazy. He Mama, like, I was like, trying to find- Blow your nose. I was- What are you crying for? Okay. No, not on the couch, I need friends. Love. Uh, like maybe I could get in one of those trampolines, but I, he's Mama, like an engineer. I was, I was trying about our little Um, he's a little engineer, so he would like make something else out of it and like it would be like dangerous. <laughs> Bridget, hi Bridget, let me follow you Bridget. Thank you so much for being here. Um, happy to have you, man. Okay, so let's get it, you guys. Um, we're gonna start off with the hollow hold, the jackknife to the hollow hold. So we are reverse tabletop position. We have that dumbbell or that weight or whatever. We um, have it at our knees and then we go out to the hollow hold. You love the workouts, thank you so much. I'll put the boys trampoline at the end of the couch so they can have <gasps> Maybe, I don't know. I definitely He's like, Try to finish this, okay? Let's go. So, we're here. Make sure, James, I need you to move out of the way, Vivian. I'm talking to everybody working out. My bad, James. James, Mom, I need you to move, honey. Out of the way. Okay. Time out? No. Then get out of the way, please. 
hold the weight up in the air. You love the Spidey. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. Okay, so you're gonna hold the dumbbell up in the air, belly button to your spine, and we're gonna do 30 seconds of scissor kicks. Well, hold on. 30 seconds of flutter kicks, so that it'll be like this with our feet, right? And then we're gonna do scissor kicks, one over the other. Not right now, James, you're gonna have to wait. Go play your game, and go see what the dog is up. Who's that barking? Is Butters in the room?
second, okay? Not yet, though. Here, I'll put the timer on so you know how much time we have left. It's not very long. Here's the timer. Uh, it's in the <sighs> I feel like crap. I need some. Can you, well, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Just go play. You can play on Mama's bed. Yeah. <laughs> she loves, like, playing I on my pillows. Love to jump on the you love to jump on the bed. I know you do. Okay, so, you guys, your son loves Octodon. I know it's so good. It's so good. I love it. It's one of our favorite shows. That and Bluey. We love Bluey because, um, Bluey's educational in a different way. It shows you, um, I love Bluey so much because it's good for parents too, just to watch it. It'll make you feel like crap. You're like, wow, I've been in that situation so many times and I never handled it that well. And like the parents show like how they handle certain situations, like like jealousy and anger and this and that. And it's just like the cutest show ever. So like not only is it good for kids, but it's good for parents to show you how to handle certain situations. Um, but also kids learn about their emotions and like boundaries and stuff like that. So Bluey is amazing too. You love Bluey? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Barney. I watched Barney growing up. Blue's Clues. Eh, not so much. A little bit of Blue's Clues. Bob the Builder. I don't remember that. Okay, so we're gonna go do a cross crunch, you guys. We're almost done, we have eight minutes. This is another phenomenal exercise for your core. I'm gonna do it this way just to change it up a little bit. So, you're going to come up, bring that dumbbell to your toe, okay? Gosh. I'm just, I can't get used to these angles on YouTube. It's so, like, wide. Annoying. Okay, we'll get used to it in time. So, get on your back. We're going to make sure that you come up, right? Crunch. Breathe out when you crunch. Touch that toe and come back down. Take it from here, but let me know if there's anything you in particular you want to do. Okay. Exercise ring closed. My ad girl. Okay. Mm. 
nobody's saying anything. So let's go finish with some mountain climbers. And some lemon squeezers. Let's go do some lemon squeezers. We'll do two sets of two. Yeah, those are good, weren't they? Yeah, those are so fire, especially when you go slow. Like, you have to understand, fast is not the way to go. You wanna go slow and controlled, right? So always remember, bring that tempo down, yeah? Okay, let's go do mountain climbers. Two sets of 10, we're gonna go slow with these. Shoulders in line with your hands. Let's go. So I don't remember where I got it from, but I, I think I have one in my Amazon storefront. Um, if I don't, I'll double check and add one. 
Okay, we gotta go. <laughs> Thank you so much. I will link it in my Amazon storefront for you, okay? You're so welcome. Have a fantastic day. Also get a kettlebell, kettlebell too, because we, we utilize the kettlebell. We didn't today, but we do utilize it for like overhead marches. Um, you didn't see it a few weeks ago? Okay, is that what you're saying? You didn't see it a few weeks ago in the Amazon storefront? You got a kettlebell? So it's so hard to like communicate over chat. Um, I will check if it's in there. If it's not, I'll put it in there. If you have a kettlebell, that's awesome. Um, everybody who works out with me, get a kettlebell because I would love to do like a straight up kettlebell workout. That would be so much fun. Have a great day. This is a great workout. Thank you for showing up, guys. Have a fantastic day. I hope you feel good. Sorry about all the distractions. It is what it is. Like, you know, it's rough out here. But we get it done. That's the one thing is like, it might be a mess. My son might be like in and out. My dogs, it's crazy. But we always leave with a fantastic workout. And then that's the one thing I can promise you. So yeah, it's a little give and take. Sometimes it's like a mess, but you'll leave. I'll make it worth your while, okay? So have a fantastic day. Thank you guys so much. Please tell everybody that you know to go follow me on YouTube, okay? I'm trying to build up my following on YouTube. Um, and that is where all my workouts are now, right? I'm trying to figure out Instagram. I haven't posted in a minute. I need to like, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm so sorry. I will get back to that. You love seeing him? Yay! Protein shake. Absolutely going to go do that right now, Veronica. Thank you for reminding me. Protein shake, you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. We're rounding out the week and I can't wait. I just want to be done with this week because I've been sick all week and I just like haven't been feeling like myself. So I will be here tomorrow, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. We're going to do our glute workout. Ooh, Got to get to bed early and get some rest. Maybe I'm going to take an Epsom salt bath. Yeah, I think that's the plan. So I'll talk to you guys later. Have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for showing up. I appreciate your support more, more than you know. And I appreciate you showing up because you help inspire me and motivate me as well, okay? All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.